I uh, wanted to do a little video to explain uh, one of the features that we have in the game that we've changed recently and hopefully help you help us find some problems that we've been unable to track down. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the in-game frame rate monitor. It's under your options under the HUD column or, or tab, and you can show FPS. And it puts the frame rate counter down at the bottom, which is cool, which is awesome. And if you've been using this for a while, you might have noticed in a hotfix or two ago, we started showing how much memory uh, the game was using, which to be accurate is actually only game being uh, memory being used by the game for certain things. Uh, there's actually quite a lot of other memory being used if you were to fire up task manager or performance monitor and look at the, the Warframe process, you'd say, wait a minute, you know, you're using a lot more than 520 meg. What's going on? Is this stat lying? Well, more accurately, that's a lot of memory that's being used by the driver. You know, we upload hundreds of megabytes of textures and, and, and there's all sorts of mesh data that goes up to the video card. And some of that stays mapped in memory. Um, shaders are a huge chunk of that memory. So the memory set that we're showing here in this little, little uh, field here is just the memory being used by the game in our heap more accurately. And one of the things that we've been having trouble tracking down is there's a series of memory leaks or bloats, depending, we're, we're pretty sure they're bloats, but we're not sure, where sometimes you'll see the amount of memory being used by the game in this particular part of memory growing crazily without bound. <clears throat> and so when, uh, when we get all the crash diagnostics, we look at that and there's a couple different places where we've seen people have this problem and all efforts locally to reproduce this problem have failed. So we've tried everything we could imagine. We've tried crazy stress tests. We've tried loading level after level after level every four seconds just to blast through as much content as possible. And nothing we've done has really put a dent in, in the, uh, the sort of search for that bug. So I wanted to show you how this, this, this value can be useful to you. Um, First of all, if you're in your ship, you know, you might be using about 500 meg or maybe a bit more depending on your settings. And you'll know that, notice that as you go around to different places in the uh, Warframe universe, the different tile sets will actually use radically different um, amounts of memory. So the, the hubs are actually a pretty beefy place to go. Uh, there's a lot of different loadouts to be loaded. So people's gear tends to take a big chunk out of that. And um, so you end up getting now you can see it climbing right now. We're up to 600, 750, maybe we'll probably peak just over 800, I think, by the time we're done here. And that's okay, um, because, you know, that's still within tolerance. This is one of our worst cases. Another another bad case for sort of the peak is um, sabotage missions. So if you're in one tile set and you traverse the portal, you go to a different tile set. So that means the game kind of has to have two distinct tile sets in memory, and that gives it a bit more of a, of a load on your system. So any, so the number itself will fluctuate, you know, depending on what mission you're in or, or where you are, that will change the sort of high water mark where it's hovering. And that's okay. You know, there's a, a fair amount of tolerance, like I just showed you about 300 meg difference in difference between ship and, and relay and, and different missions will have different amounts of, of memory. That's not what we're worried about today. What we're actually worried about today I mean, having the worst, we actually have tools to tell us where the worst levels are, and that's okay, because we can sort of analyze that offline. The problem that we have is that sometimes this number freaks out. And I'll, I'll show you the reproduction that I found it once. I've tried at great length to reproduce this, and I've only seen it once. So I go to the Appearance tab, I go to play with one of my sigils, and I want to change its color. And you'll see the numbers hovering you know, 545 or 544, maybe 546. And as I move the cursor around across colors, it might jump up a little bit. What I saw once is that number would go up and up and up and never stop. And I actually can fake this. So I can start. Oh, I can't see. So I can start a memory leak. And you can see now that the number is just kind of inching upwards, upwards, and upwards, and upwards. And there are probably, and we don't know where they are, there's probably certain conditions that you can get to that will make that number go up and up and up and never stop going down. So right now, you know, if you're sitting watching your colors, you might notice, hey, it's going up. Gosh, it's, it's going higher and higher. And sometimes it goes up really fast. So I can actually start multiple leaks and you can see it climbing faster and faster and faster. Watching that number go up and up and up, that is what we want to figure out how to reproduce. That's the secret that we haven't been able to figure out. And I've looked at dozens and dozens of logs. We've been having, there's probably three different flavors of this. One of them, or two of them actually, you can get just sitting in the ship. I'm pretty sure one of them 
the fastest way to get is something related to changing your loadout. So we've tried different people's loadouts, different gear. We still haven't found that magical combination that uh, that makes that leak happen. So right now, you know, we're up almost 200 meg from when we started in this mission or in our set, and that's obviously going to bring the machine down someday. Even if you're running 64-bit, even if you have ridiculous amounts of memory, uh, it'll start to make things run slow because it's going to start to to fragment your heap. It's going to start putting things on different cache lines, different pages. Bad things will happen. It'll make the game run slow. So even though it may not make you crash, like in this case, I'm running 64-bit, so it'll be quite a long time before even a leak of this severity will actually cause me to, to crash. It will start to degrade performance. You will start to see hitches. You will start to see painful things. So I, what I'm asking for you guys to do is keep that set up. Keep an eye on it. Get a feel for what different levels are like, You know how expensive they are for memory. And, and if you find a way, or if you find a case where you're seeing it climb like we're seeing right now, I want to know what you're doing. You know, is it your loadout? Is it some cosmetic that you have? Is it the fact that you've got someone in your squad? Is it someone leaving your squad and then somehow that triggers this starting? Is it something about having contact requests pending? I don't know. And honestly, it's really driving me bananas because I've been looking for this for a couple days now and I ha can't find it. So I'm turning to you in desperation. If you keep the frame rate monitor up, keep an eye on the, the RAM. And if you start to see that number climb and not stop climbing, take a moment, take a screenshot. You know, you can always take an in-game screenshot with F6. Take a screenshot to try and get some information about what you're wearing, what you're doing, and... Uh, and hopefully let us know. Best way to send it would be support ticket, although you can just as easily attach it to this forum thread and uh, help us help the make the game better. Thanks very much.